Y'all remember that one Spongebob episode from season 4 where Patrick falls off a cliff and suddenly becomes Albert Einstein? Well, guess what happens in the brand new episode, Library Cards? Your only hint is to look at the title. Yeah, this turns out to be sort of like a spiritual successor storyline since Patrick becomes smart once again, but this time, we know he's been binge-watching Rick and Morty. Library Cards is one of the new episodes from this week's batch, and it did have a few interesting things worth talking about, so well... Well, here we are with a discussion. Was it creative? Worth watching? Or was it just a dumb repeat of Patrick's smart pants without doing anything unique? Let's dive in and find out. When Patrick discovers the pineapple's library, SpongeBob introduces him to the wonderful world of book learning. Oh boy, you guys, an episode about books! My favorite! Said no one ever. Seriously, this is one of those storylines where if you don't like the topic at hand, you may not be entertained. But immediately, library cards starts out with continuity errors because apparently Patrick doesn't know anything about books or libraries even though he's been in one many times. Oh yeah, and why is Spongebob's library suddenly where his bedroom was for the entire series? You know what, this is my fault, actually thinking that all the lore behind the show is perfectly connected is a mistake. Instead of focusing on the horrible continuity, let's take a look at the actual plotline, jokes, and if overall this is worth watching. The episode takes place almost entirely in Spongebob's library, meaning that we're gonna have to see some fast-paced comedy or events that make the confined space feel limitless with fun. Having a whole 11 minutes of an episode be in one setting may seem like a formula for failure, but luckily I can say that library cards was interesting enough to easily get through that. SpongeBob's introduction of various types of books was already giving us some creative gags. Cookbooks were being physically cooked, while some of the novels with cliffhangers were literally hanging from the cliff of this bookshelf. Behold the books, Patrick. Each one has a story to tell. Look out! Those books are cliffhangers! Stories for the adventurous! There are log books! Unabridged books! And books with bridges! SpongeBob's explanation of the library was merely the beginning though, because the real fun begins when Patrick starts reading. The seemingly endless supply of words enters his brain, making buildings inside his mind, and ultimately transforming him into Patrick SmartPants once again, finally returning for the first time since season 4. The premise here was honestly just fresh to see, I mean yeah, Patrick being smart was recycled from before, but small gags like the city made entirely of words definitely had a unique aspect to it. Unfortunately, library cards took a turn for the worse after Patrick Smartpants came back. He got stuck in the doorway because his brain was way too big, and then the rest of the episode is just trying to get him out. Before this point, there were constant gags, and the very concept of books were viewed at through different perspectives, so it was easy to watch, but now it's just several minutes of a stuck Patrick. Probably the weakest part of the episode. The short scenes after it were alright, but I have to admit that this incredibly dumb Patrick screen cap is amazing. He looks so stupid. So how's the comedy in library cards? Meh, it's kinda standard. While there were a lot of creative ways of dealing with books, I'd call those more interesting than actually funny. A few good jokes in the episode, but for the most part, nothing really to see here. But overall, library cards was solid. I definitely wouldn't go out of my way to recommend it, although if you're looking for some creativity, then you'll probably find it here. Put aside your knowledge on the previous Spongebob lore and open your mind a bit, then you can easily get past the error and not be bothered by the recycled Smart Patrick plotline. If I had to describe everything here in one word, it would be intriguing. Not too funny or one of the current era's strongest by any means, but just an episode filled with a lot of cool ideas. Anyway, that's all for this video. Subscribe for more awesome cartoon videos. Give a thumbs up and comment below let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.